Hello, my diamonds, my beautiful diamonds. Do you know the difference between a man who's good to you and a man who's good for you? Which one do you think should be the most important thing? Let's listen to what this um, this a, a, a gentleman, I, I say those things loosely these days because, <laughs> but let's just, uh, since I don't know him personally, yeah, let's just see what this gentleman have to say. Well, actually, you don't have to know a person personally. I don't know you, but I know of you. But anyway, let's listen in. Probably have to get this off my chest real quick. Look, to the ladies, I want you to understand that there's a big difference between men who are good to you and men who are good for you. You see, anybody can give you the bag, but a man who's good for you will not only aim to give it to you, but his ultimate goal is to put you in yours. He's the one to tell you, oh, baby, better the relationship with your mama or that's an unhealthy habit. You may be reflecting on other people or that ain't even your friend for real. You see, a man that's good to you, anything given to you can be taken away. So it comes with major conditions like as long as you hear fucking me good or as long as you hear to cook good meals or as long as you taking care of the kids so I ain't got you. See, a man that's good for you, he'll fuck you good simply to see the pleasure run down your face. A man that's good for you will learn to cook, to provide you with a meal from time to time. A man that's good for you will take care of the kids simply to take a weight off your shoulder. It comes from a love that stems a reciprocation. And all I'm here to say is stop wasting time with people who are good to you that can never be good for you. Yeah, he made some really valid points. I really like the point that he made. A man that's good for you, he's going to tell you, why don't you go and fix your relationship with your mom? You need to check that. You know, a man who's good for you, he said, I I'm a little leery on the part where he says, your friend, you know, the one you think is your friend, that's not even your friend. You have to be careful with that part because you have a lot of men who are abusive and the first thing they want to do is to isolate you from family and friends. So you have to be careful with that. The reason they don't want you with family or friends is because they don't want you to have any support while they're using you, especially financially. They don't want you to have any support or anyone to help you when you need to do what's best for you or if they feel like you're going to wake them up um from the abuse that they're going that they're doing to you so be careful with that part of them trying to isolate you from family and friends uh-uh but the one thing i noticed that he didn't mention which would be a deal breaker for me because he doesn't seem like a man who's really on God and Christ's team. He's only talking about the physical aspects and never the spiritual. You know, a man who's sent by God will not, and a man who's good for you, is a man who will not lead you to sin. Now, I don't care if he says he's a Christian, if he uses all the church words, even if he does a church, if he goes to church with you on a regular basis. But if he's not leading you closer to Jesus, if he is leading you to compromise your boundaries, your standards, your purity, and the things you set out for yourself to do, if he's leading you to compromise those things, then that man is not from God, was not sent to you by Jesus, Jehovah or Jesus. That man is not good for you, not even a little bit. That man or any man that Jesus has for you, they're going to lead you to be closer and closer to Jesus, not only Jesus, but also to his heavenly father. And you don't, people need, they, they, they need to stop saying they love Jehovah, but they disrespect his son, Jesus, uh, that no. So remember the man that God has for you, they're going to lead you closer to Jesus, not farther away from him. He's going to respect your boundaries and he's not going to try to get you to break them. That's how you'll know when a man is good for you. And when a man was sent to you by God and Christ. So don't be deceived because you know, men, a lot of men have the gift for gab, but it should always be a deal breaker right out the gate. If a man is not going to provide spiritually first 
And then all the money, monetary and material things that come secondary. That's not the most important thing, especially this day and age when women can make their own bag, as they say, making their own money. Of course, he is if he's if, first of all, if he's a man of God in Christ, he already knows his role. He already know his responsibility as a provider. So that covers all the bases if he's a man of God in Christ. So remember that, my beautiful diamonds. I want you to know the difference between a man who is good to you and a man who is good for you. I love that part that he says, anytime someone give you something, they can always take it away. If you if he if he has the power and the 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 authority to feed you, then he also has the power to starve you. That's why it's always good to have your own. Please. I can't put enough emphasis on that for women. And please don't move these men into your home. Don't move into their home. Have your own. Why? Because it's that's the wise thing to do and it's so much safer. This is Sheila True Love as always. I love you. Jehovah loves you and Jesus wanted you to hear this message. And that's why I'm delivering it to you. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds.